Hey y'all, welcome back to Island Vibe Cooking. In today's recipe, I'll be showing you guys how to make St. Patrick Day Irish Cream Swirl Brownie. They're so good and it's really easy and it's quick. So if you guys want to see it, be sure to keep on watching. Make sure to watch the entire video as well. And don't forget to subscribe if you are new here, like the video and comment down below. Without further ado, let's make them. I told you guys this recipe was going to be quick, so we're going to use brownie mix, okay? Now I am using Supreme Triple Chunk Brownie Mix, okay? We're going to sift it before we add anything else to it. That's just a preference, okay? It helps mixing the ingredients better. That's just what I think. <laughs> Once you're done sifting it, I am going to add all the ingredients that I need to make it just follow the direction on the box it's that easy okay I am adding eggs with a little bit of water and last I'll be adding half a cup of vegetable oil now be sure to follow the direction on your box okay and then I'll use my hand mixer to mix it Once all your ingredients are well combined, I am using a 13 by 9 baking pan to add half of the brownie batter. Be sure to add half and save the rest, okay? Make sure it's even. In a separate bowl, I'll be adding one 8 ounce cream cheese. Make sure it's nice and softened. Next, I'll be adding one third cup of sugar. 2 tablespoons of all-purpose flour and then we're going to give that a mix. Next I'll be adding one large egg. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Now this is what makes this recipe an Irish cream recipe. I am using 4 ounces of the Bailey's Irish cream. Just pour it in there or you can add less if you like. And then we're going to give that a quick mix. Make sure it mix really good, okay? Until it's nice and smooth. Next, this is what's going to give it the green color. I am using food coloring. Just add a few drops at a time and see if you like the color this is how mine look I am going to add a little bit more and mix it but I did use my hand mixer for this okay you can also use just the spatula and just mix it now I am going to take that mixture and pour it all over the brownie batter just pour it on there just like so and then I'll be using my spatula to make sure it covers the brownie Now I am going to take the rest of the brownie batter that I saved earlier. We're going to add it onto, onto this brownie. Okay, make sure you add it as little spot because we're trying to form like a marble type of texture or color. So add it like you, just like I'm doing right now basically. Just add it. Now I am going to take a knife and move it around just like so, so I can have that marble effect. And basically that, that is all you guys and then we're going to bake it once we're done. You can't really mess this up and just basically do it on your own flow. And then I am going to bake this on 350 for 30 minutes once it is done this is it it's nice and pretty and beautiful i am going to let it cool down on a cooling rack or a cookie rack just like this one and then i am going to cut them into squares equal squares and then basically that is it you guys hopefully you guys enjoy the recipe i think it's perfect for if you're having a potluck or if you're having anything at your church you can bring that to your church or just to have it for the kids as well this is it thank you for watching guys do not forget to give it a thumbs up for me 
as we speak my camera is currently broken so hopefully i can fix it soon to upload a video for you guys because i have lots of great ideas and i don't have a camera so pray for me i can fix it or go buy one very soon and this is it thank you for watching i'll see you guys very soon on my next one bye